Hello, and welcome back to our series of instructional videos on our Molex backplane modules. Today we're taking a look at upgrading the firmware on our Profibus Compact Logix. Uh, today I'm going to be using the SST PB3M-CPX, uh, but it's the same for all three of the modules. So we start by going to Brad Communications, SST Profibus, and the Profibus Configuration Tool. We expand the masters, go to Molex, and select the CPX master. Now we want to go to the comm channel. Uh, now for upgrading the firmware on these modules, we have to use the Ethernet IP module uh, connection. So what we're going to do is go through the Ethernet port on the front of the module. So if in the past you've been using RS links or Ethernet IP over the back plane, and you don't actually have a um, Ethernet cable plugged into the front of the module. Uh, for upgrading the firmware, you're going to have to do that. So uh, now I have a, a module. It's already got a, an IP address, but uh, if you don't have that, you would browse for the module. It would show up and you would double click to select it. That would have the module IP address and the network interface card IP address is uh, for your laptop. And we say OK at that point. And we can connect. Now, to actually do the um, uploading or the upgrading of the firmware, uh, there's two things that you have to do. You have to make sure that there is no connection over the backplane between the CPU and our card. So we're going to go to Logix and inhibit it. And then we have to make sure the card is offline. So we'll go to Logix first. And then we go to the I.O. configuration. Double click on the module. Go to the connection tab and select inhibit module. And when you apply that, you're going to get a warning. Uh, we'll say yes. Uh, so this obviously will interrupt any uh, control you have over the Profibus network, so you're going to have to do that uh, uh, in some downtime or, or be willing to interrupt your, your process there. Uh, that's all we have to do in Logic, so we'll go back to the configuration tool. Now we're going to right click, and uh, we don't have the offline command, so the card is already offline, which is fine. Uh, so now what we want to do is download firmware. Now the firmware is located in the install directory, so it's under Program Files, x86, uh, Brad Communications, SST, Profibus, Firmware. This is for a Windows 7 64-bit uh, machine. And we're going to select the PB3 CPX firmware and say Open. And it asks you, do you want to do that? And yes, we do. Now the downloading of the firmware can take up to a minute. Uh, so we'll just wait for that to finish. And we get the message that the download completes successfully and the module is restarting. Once the module is restarted, we'll connect to it and then we can check the firmware version to make sure it's the correct version that you just downloaded. Now in our case, because this is, I'm making this module just after the module is released, uh, we don't have uh, new firmware, so it'll be the same firmware as, as when I started the process. And everything's fine there. And then you would go back to your logics, uninhibit the module, and you'd be good to go. So there you have it. Very simple, uh, quick process for upgrading the firmware on SST PB3M uh, CPX module. Thank you.